So, Laura, what does a day in the life of an archivist look like for you? Well, you know, um, basic caveat that, you know, every day is a little different, <laughs> um, which is one of the exciting things, I think, of our jobs is we do kind of get to do a lot of different things. But if I have to answer, um, for me with manuscripts, I would say the bulk of what I'm doing is overseeing processing of collections. So a pretty typical day involves um, working with some fabulous student library assistants, student workers, undergraduate and graduate. Um, and so just sort of working with them to process collections, um, whether it's we're kind of always doing it. So starting collections, checking in on collections, um, fielding questions about um, how to organize, what to do, what to do with weird things that they find. Um, I would say that kind of makes up the bulk of an average day. Um, but then of course, we're all sort of um, juggling all of the other sort of added things that we're doing. So um, kind of other various projects that our collections may be involved in. So um, working with you, Allison, on instruction or getting ready for, you know, for a class, pulling materials for a class, um, helping with the reference question, um, working on a digital collection or a digital project, um, maybe working with a donor, you know, getting in touch, checking back in with a donor, things like that. That sort of those sort of little things kind of filter in throughout the day. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, Chris, what about you? Uh, it's uh, similar. Um, I I have a little bit of a different scenario because I have the this little area of collections, the Modern Political Archive, and I kind of do um, uh, reference for that, um, as well as um, uh, being the uh, political science and um, sociology librarian. So um, I, I do a lot of uh, uh, work for that as well. Um, but definitely it's it's about making the collections uh, available to people and making sure that they are kept available um, and uh, described in the right way so that we can, that researchers can find uh, what they need. Yeah, absolutely great. Um, Alicia, what about you? Well, like like Laura and Chris said, every day is kind of different. Um, while you do have a plan for um, getting a collection from, maybe picking them up from the, the donor's house or office to getting them to be finished into our archival boxes like I have behind me, um, there's a lot that goes into that. And so it's kind of like cooking a recipe that has a lot of things on the stove at once. And so we usually have a lot of things from starting preliminary inventories to, um, you know, processing collections, preservation, um, taking things up to our preservation lab and having um, repairs or special enclosures built for them. So it's always different and it's never boring. And you don't, I get tons of reference questions that I never thought that I would know the answers to. Uh, so that makes me really great at like, just very random historical knowledge too. <laughs> so, um, but it's really interesting. And, you know, being it coming from a history background, that stuff is always really interesting to me to, you know, kind of search through the primary resources to find the answers for the individuals that are asking them um, and kind of tell that story. So I kind of look at it that we have a lot of things going on from day to day but they all kind of go back to the th what Chris was saying is making sure that we have the stuff available and that people can access it. I mean, cause that's our main job here is to make sure the stuff is safe and then make sure people can get to it. 